Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, the 2021 NHK Trophy starting off with the men's discipline. I have to say the NHK Trophy was such a drama-free event um, this year for every discipline except for the ladies, of course. Also, the judges were very generous at this event. The judges were like, you get a season best, and you get a season best, and you get a season best. Everybody was just getting a season best across all four disciplines. Um, as for the men, my predictions weren't, they were okay. I got six out of the top eight. Um, the only two skaters that I had in the top eight that didn't make it are Tomoki, he was... Iwatashi and Nam Nguyen, they finished just out of the top eight, um, nine, and ten, respectively. I did, however, get the winner of the event with his weird bolero, the only one that could pull it off. Shoba Uno came out on top at, a, at um, NHK. This was a great event for Shoma. I haven't seen him look this good in years. The short is beautiful. It's tight, electrifying. It is Shoma at his best. The long is an acquired taste. Shoma pulls it off at as only he can. However, he has so many better programs that I really hope they change the long program before the Olympic. Um, Stefan Lambiel is really doing some great work with Shoma this season. He seems more prepared in better shape and really ready for the Olympic. This is really the best that I've seen him in years. And I was so glad I picked Shoma as the winner and Shoma delivered. Um, in second place, I also picked him as the silver medalist was Vincent Zhou. The skate, Vincent had, had the skate of his career at Skate America. Therefore, it's understandable that he cannot replicate it here or at any other event. I would say Vincent had a very good short program with clean elements and performances. However, the long was a bit of a struggle for him. He popped the first jump in the program, which was his quad Lutz, which basically set the mood for the program. A step out here, a double here, and his chances at winning disappeared. Yet the performance of the other two Americans at this event clearly shows that Benson is in no danger of not making the U.S. team. While this was not the ideal performance that he was looking to back up his Skate America outing, it wasn't a terrible outing for him either. And now with a silver and gold medal, he's definitely punched his ticket to the Grand Prix. So both he and Shomo are now locked in for the Grand Prix. So that's Shomo, that's Vincent, and that's Jason. All, um, that's No, not Jason. Nathan, all locked in for the Grand Prix. And third place on the podium, my baby Cha did so well. I had um um Jun Wang Cha in first place and he proved me wrong with a medal finish. I am so happy to be wrong. Cha has two of my favorite programs for the men for the men this season. The short is delicious and and Cha sells the long for all he's worth. Like the audience, I was clapping even before he finished. Hopefully he can get back to Canada to work on the finishing touches with Brian Ulster, um, Ulster for the Olympic. But otherwise, I'm so happy my baby Cha is back on the podium. In fourth place um, was Maka Ignatov. Um, I had him in fifth place overall and he went and he was just a few points off of, of you know, um, fourth place. So he's just a, f a few points off of the podium. I would say this was a very good outing for Maka. I really see him as a solid possibility for that third spot for the Russian men. 
Maka is still struggling with his stamina. However, with each competition, he gets a little better. And I feel like that's probably going to be key for him because this is going to be such a long season that if every competition he has, he gets just a little bit better. By the time he hits Russian Nationals, by the time if he gets a chance to go to European, I think he's just going to go from strength to strength. And that's all going to improve his chances of making the Olympic team. Um, I actually had Matteo Rizzo on the podium. However, a less than Stella short had him in six. And although he was third in the long program, it was not enough overall to put him on the podium. Matteo ended up finishing in fifth place. I really do think that the short program is not working for him. Matteo is such a musical and emotive skater, yet the short does not play off those strengths. I love the long, especially the step sequence where he just comes alive in the footwork. I think Matteo will make the Olympic team for Italy without much problem since they do have two spots. And if he was able to change that short program to something that better suits his strength, I think making top 10 in men will become even easier for him. Rounding up my six, my top six, and I called him in sixth place too, is Alexander Samarin. I have to say, Samarin is really growing on me. He has so much personality in the kiss and cry, and he is so self-aware. And also, his relationship with his coach seems so sweet. Yes, he's a jumper, but when he is on and his jumps are on, he is a beautiful jumper. Is he a skater that I personally enjoy watching the whole package? No. But does he seem like such a nice guy? Yes, he really is growing on me. Um, the men's the men event was stress free and a fun watch. When Matteo did his lunge in the free program, I was screaming at my screen, "See, Matteo, see!" And then Chao was also a pleasant surprise, winning a medal here. And Shoma was at his Shoma best. I really enjoyed this men's um event. Um, how about you? Which men were you talking to on your screen? Let me know. Leave me a comment below.